Hey guys, and welcome to week 3 of season 4 in Battlefield 2042. We got a new set of weekly missions today, some new portal modes and store items, and also a small update with bug fixes and improvements. But I'm gonna start with something else, and that's the Steam free access period and a huge discount. Cause right now you can play Battlefield 2042 for free on Steam until Thursday, March 16, and during this time you can also get a discount of 17 percent on the game, which means you can get it for less than $20 in the standard edition and for $50 as ultimate edition. But honestly, I would not recommend to buy ultimate anymore since we are in season 4 already and the little content you will receive with this edition now is not worth the additional money. But the $20 for the standard version are a pretty fair price considering the state the game has now. The same offer can also be found at the Epic Game Store and the EA app, only on console there is no discount at the moment, at least on Xbox, cause on PlayStation the game is still part of this month PS Plus lineup, which means you can claim it for free if you are subscribed to it and then keep the game forever. In addition, we also got a small update today, which is update 4.0.1 and it's about 2GB in size, depending on the platform. The update came with some bug fixes and improvements, like audio changes to Blasco's infiltration device, a nerf to the repair tool, adjustments to the soldier health regeneration and some weapon tweaks, but I already did a full video about the patch notes that you can find in the info box, so if you want to know what else was changed and what was adjusted exactly, be sure to check it out as well. Unfortunately, there's already another bug that occurred over the weekend and is not fixed with this update yet, and that's for the Earthshaker skin that you can unlock at tier 60 of the Battle Pass and can be equipped to the CAV Brawler. When you use the cosmetic, the bug prevents the vehicle from breaking destructible objects and driving through bushes, so DICE recommends to not use the skin for now until the bug is fixed. And there is also a bug for soldier-based lock-on weapons like the FXM missile launcher that causes the gadget to not find their targets when an aircraft is flying below 30 meters, so within the altitude of the new below radar mechanic, but this is not intended as well and will be fixed with the next update. Besides this, you might encounter connectivity issues at the moment and might not be able to log into 2042 or any other AA game, but they are on it already and this is hopefully fixed in a few hours as well. So that's what's new or important to know around Battlefield so far, let's have a look at everything we got in the game today, starting with the new playlists. In Conquest, the Exodus playlist has returned, that a lot of players love and enjoy because it's a 64 player experience with a mix of old and new maps, and in Breakthrough, the Seasons playlist that only features the four maps Exposure, Stranded, Spearhead and Flashpoint will stay for another week. Over in Portal, the mode rotation has also changed, and this week there's Rush XL and Free For All of Ages available. Rush XL is a chaotic 64 player experience based on the classic Rush mode, and in FFA of Ages you play alone against everyone else on battlefields across all eras. In the item store there was also a new bundle added and this one is called Synthwave, costs 1000 battlefield coins and includes weapon skins for the AC-42 and MCS-880, vehicle skins for the Felon and Bolte, a weapon charm and a specialist set for Crawford. In addition, the expansive Against the Grain bundle is on sale with 33% off and this one comes with specialist sets for Pike, Boris, Angel and McKay, weapon skins for the PKP, SWS, 12M Auto and AK24 and a vehicle skin for the Wildcat. So if you had an eye on it but didn't want it to spend 3000 coins, now might be your chance for a better deal. And at the end, let's have a look at the new weekly missions that are mostly focused on kills and combat this time. In the first section, you have to capture or neutralize three objectives, do eight kills or assists, and revive, resupply or heal 10 teammates, and I don't think any of this is a problem. The objectives captured are easily done in Conquest or Breakthrough, and for the teammates revived, healed or resupplied, I would recommend to use Falk with an ammo crate and her red pistol, cause this way you can do all of the three requirements with one specialist and the mission should be done within no time. 
Once the second section is unlocked, you need to do 15 kills while playing as Assault, do 20 kills or revives, and earn 6 combat or objective ribbons. For the first mission you can play as Sundan, Stozer, McKay or Zane, so any of the Assault class characters, and with them you can also complete the two other missions. Cause for the combat ribbons you need to do kills or destroy vehicles, and for the objective ribbons it's objectives captured, held and defended. So basically everything you did in the first section already. And you can also keep on playing your chosen assault specialist in the third section, cause here you have to do 10 kills with melee weapons or throwing knives, inflict 1000 damage with C5 claymores or the new SPH explosive launcher, and do 40 headshot kills. For the melee kills, you can either do complete takedowns if you can manage to surprise an enemy from behind, or just poke until they are killed, or you go in with Dozer and use his shield, which is my preferred way to complete these kind of missions, not only because you can cover yourself with the shield while approaching the enemy, but also because every one of these kills is a step towards his mastery and he's one of the few specialists I have left. But if melee kills or Dozer are not your thing, you can also simply use the throwing knife and kill enemies on distance. On close to mid range, every enemy is one hit with them and when you walk over their dead bodies, you can also pick up your used knife again, so you should never run out of knives. For the damage inflicted with C5, Claymore or the SPH, I would actually recommend to use the new launcher if you have it unlocked already, cause it's pretty easy to use and deals good damage to infantry. But then again, I'm afraid this will end in a horrible explosive spam for the next few days, which will surely happen anyways. However, C5 works pretty good here as well, especially if you want to go more for vehicles instead of infantry, so just choose the gadget you prefer. The headshot kills that return almost every week now are done on the side while playing as usual, but this time it doesn't matter which weapon you use. So you can also get in with a sniper or marksman rifle if that's what you feel more comfortable with, you don't have to use an assault rifle or SMG. And then for the bonus mission you simply need to do 15 more kills and assists, but this time you have to use an AR. If you are new to the game I can recommend the M5, AK24 or SFAR, but all others are fine as well and are at pretty good balance now. Don't forget that you only have one week to complete the bonus mission, otherwise it's gone and the battle pass points for it as well, but the other 9 missions stay active and can be completed at any time during the season. And that's it for today, just your usual overview of what's going on in and around Battlefield 2042 and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. On to then, thanks for watching and special thanks to my channel members for the additional support, I am the Catwoman and you are awesome.